What if I tell you there is an AI that doesn't just chat with you, but becomes your digital employee that works 24/7 in the cloud even while you sleep? Well, today in this video, I want to talk about something that genuinely blew my mind, and it's called Warmwind. This isn't your typical AI chatbot or let's say a writing assistant. We are talking about a full AI operating system that acts like virtual employees on the cloud. Let's face it, we all spend too much time on repetitive tasks like data entry, filling forms. Uh, switching between tools, organizing files, and to be honest, it's endless. And yes, there are automation tools out there, but most of them requires APIs, integrations, and even coding. And if something breaks, good luck fixing it yourself. This is where Warmwind is different. It's not just a board; it's a AI operating system built from the ground up to work like a human employee. It can type, read, drag and drop, scroll, and do all the stuff that a normal human being would do. Now, before I show you Warmwind hands-on, let me quickly explain what exactly it is. Warmwind is a full-fledged AI-powered operating system designed for businesses and everyday users. And even if you have no coding skills or technical knowledge, you can get going from day one. You can think of it like hiring digital employees that never sleeps, never takes break, and you can instantly scale from one to ten thousand workers instantly. Warmwind is what they call an AI operating system. Instead. of being limited to certain apps or let's say requiring complex api integrations it literally sees everything on the screen the way you do or let's say a human being would do and it can interact with the apps just like a human being it uses advanced vision models to understand interfaces click buttons type text and navigate software just like a human would the brilliant thing here is that it's completely cloud based and you don't have to install anything or go through any technical configuration process and again everything runs in warmwind's cloud infrastructure which means your ai employees keeps working even if your laptop is turned off or you are sleeping or even Even if you are on a vacation, so literally it doesn't matter. The AI employees keeps working 24/7, even without your intervention. Enough talking, and let me quickly jump onto my computer screen to show Warmwind in action and also a couple of use cases that you could use it for. So this right here is Warmwind, and when you open it up, this is going to be the interface that you will see, and it is like an AI operating system that runs in the cloud, and you can access it from your web browser. Yes, you heard it correct. No need of any installations or technical configuration process. Just open up your web browser, head to the website, log in, and there you have it. So towards the bottom, you can find a input box, and all you gotta do is to tell the AI exactly what you want it to do. Or let's say if you want the AI to do some task repeatedly on a certain time every day, all you gotta do is to tell the same in here and hit enter. And now Warmwind will take care of it. And now towards the right side, here we also have a teaching mode, which I'll talk about later. And towards the top, you can find a couple of these apps that are already added and ready to use. And if you click on this plus button right here, it will open the App Store where you can find tons of apps that you can add and start using right away. For example, right now we have Canva, Chrome, Amazon, Gmail, Cryptpad, Instagram, LinkedIn, Midjourney, YouTube, then Microsoft Teams, Excel, PowerPoint, etc. And again, more apps are yet to come. And if you click on this Accounts button on the bottom right, you can go ahead and open Settings and configure your account preferences, create and manage workspaces, etc. For example, I can now go ahead and change the name of the workspace, change the avatar, and customize it accordingly. And now let me quickly go ahead and ask Warmwind to do some real-world task and show you some real use cases and let's see how it goes. First of all, I'll go ahead and give it a simple prompt and ask it to do something, and then we can go ahead and ask the AI to do more complex stuff. First of all, I'll begin by giving some simple prompt, something like this, which says, "Let me know about the top five news, put it in a spreadsheet, and send me an email every day." So this right here is the initial prompt I'll give, and now all I gotta do is to press the send button. So basically, what I want the AI to do is that it should go ahead and find top five news every single day and put it in a spreadsheet and send a email to my personal email every single day. Okay, so that's basically what we are trying to accomplish. So let's just go ahead and wait for it. And now, as soon as I send the message, the AI will go ahead and start working on the same, and will start by opening up all the related apps and will do everything on its own. So as you can see, it has went ahead and opened up the Firefox web browser, and now it is actually searching for top news today in Bing. Now, if you want to change it to let's say search on Google, you can absolutely do that. And now the AI itself is going through the search results page, and it is crawling through the page, and it has actually clicked on one of these results, which is CNN. Okay, so there you can find a lot of these news on the website. And now, as you can see, the AI is actually getting bombarded with a lot of these pop-ups, and AI itself is automatically going ahead and closing all these cookie pop-ups and privacy notes and all that, just like a normal human being would do. Okay, so the AI literally goes ahead and does everything for us. And now, okay, the AI is on. 
the page and it has analyzed the news content and now it has went ahead and opened up google sheets okay so we actually have google sheets app and now it will hopefully go ahead and click on this plus button to create a new sheet so let's see so there you go the ai has went ahead and clicked on the plus button and now it will go ahead and open up a new spreadsheet and it will start by typing in uh, i guess the title for the sheet all right so there you go the ai has went ahead and typed the sheet name and now it is populating all these data by analyzing the top news that it has discovered so it just went ahead and opened up firefox and now it is opening up yet another website google news and now going through all the top headlines and it will collect all the links and then go through it and find all the important information and now it head backs to google sheets and it goes ahead and fills everything for us how cool right okay. so the ai literally does everything for us as a normal human being would do and now it is trying to i guess export the thing okay yeah it is exporting the spreadsheet file okay interesting one all right so it has went ahead and downloaded the file okay maybe if you want to configure it in such a way that you want it to share the link you can actually do that as well and now it has went ahead and opened up gmail and as you can see the ai is seamlessly managing multiple apps and it has now opened up gmail and again we see yet another pop up and hopefully the ai will go ahead and close that and get back to the, uh, gmail let's wait all right so there you go and now hopefully the ai will go ahead and create a new gmail so as you can see it has went ahead and clicked on the compose email option it is now typing in the subject line all right so next up maybe the email okay it is actually typing the content is it seems all right so it has typed the email body and next up let's see okay it has went ahead and clicked on the attach button and is actually selecting the xlx file or the excel file that it just downloaded earlier and now it is selecting the same and attaching the same to the email interesting so it has access to all this file system everything and next up hopefully it will go ahead and enter my email address all right so there you go and now you have to tell your the ai the, your email address or configure it already and there you go the ai has went ahead and put in my email address and sent the email as easy as that and now if you go ahead and click on this avatar icon right here you'll be able to find the complete information as to exactly what the ai did in text and if you want to you can actually go ahead and scroll through and read all the stuff that the ai did so that is how simple and powerful it is so as you saw i just went ahead and gave a simple text prompt and now the ai went ahead and opened up a web browser and started doing its thing and then it collected all the necessary data and then went ahead and opened up yet another app so in this case it was spreadsheet and then created a new spreadsheet and populated it with all the data and then went ahead and downloaded the excel file and then went ahead and opened up gmail composed a new email put my email like the subject line the body and even attached the downloaded excel file and it sent the email to me i mean the ai can seamlessly go ahead and work with multiple apps and multiple websites in real time even without you having to do anything or without your manual intervention so that is how powerful it is and next up let's just go ahead and give it another task and this time around we are asking the ai to go ahead and find the stock performance of the top 10 publicly listed companies in the us by market capitalization and we want it to analyze all the information and create a spreadsheet that includes the following important details like the company name ticker symbol current stock prices percentage change and all that okay and now as soon as i hit enter as you can see the ai goes ahead and opens up a web browser and then it goes ahead and searches for what are the top 10 uh, stocks in the us by market capitalization and it finds all the details and then goes ahead and do a deep research to find all the information that we asked for and now it has went ahead and opened up spreadsheet and it is creating all the columns and then populating all the data so we just went ahead and asked exactly what we want to do and now the ai is doing everything for us and finally it has created the spreadsheet and there you go that's how simple it is and next up let's just go ahead and explore another use case for customer support so the initial instruction that was given is respond promptly to every customer email regarding an order and assist them with any issues or questions they may have okay and as you can see it just went ahead and opened gmail looked for new emails from customers and now after reading the email from the customer it went ahead and opened up the shopify app searched for the particular order and found the order with the same email and gathered all the information it needed and then it goes back to gmail and types a reply and sends it wow cool right 
So next up, let's just say you want to automate recruiting workflow and reporting. Well, let's see how Warmwin can help us in this regard. So we start by giving a simple and detailed prompt asking to find potential people on LinkedIn, send them an invite and save all the data like the name, URL, company, message, response, state, etc. on a spreadsheet. And now as you can see, it has opened up spreadsheet and created a new sheet and created all the necessary columns as well. And then it opens up LinkedIn and searches for people and send them an invite along with the message. And after it's done, it goes back to the previous app that is the spreadsheet and then it fills the details in the spreadsheet exactly like what we wanted. So essentially we just went ahead and automated the entire recruiting and reporting workflow. Cool. And next up, this writer is yet another workflow for ERP and database process automation. And now as you can see, we went ahead and gave a detailed prompt and instruction and now it went ahead and opened up a very old rental upper management software and based on the details provided, the AI agent itself is navigating around and doing everything all by itself. So basically it is automating the entire boring process and it just helped us save hundreds of hours which we could then use for something more useful. And as you can see, no one wants to work with a software with such kind of messy and boring UI. And hey, don't worry, Warmwind got you covered, let it do the hard work for you. And now another cool thing about Warmwind is that there exists a cool feature called as teaching mode. So in certain cases, the AI might won't get everything correct, right? There might be some kind of complex workflows or specific workflows tailored for your specific use case. Well, you can go ahead and activate the teaching mode in Warmwind and then you can go ahead and show exactly what the AI should do. And once, I mean, you have to do it once and then the AI can go ahead and do it for you without any manual intervention. For example, let's say you have some complex workflows and the AI couldn't get it right. Well, don't worry, just enable the teaching mode from the option on the bottom side and then you can go ahead and manually do the task while talking to the agent and now the AI learns from what you're doing and that should be it. Afterwards, the AI will go ahead and do it without you having to do anything. So basically, we went ahead and teached the AI just like training a new employee, okay? So if the AI couldn't get it right, you can go ahead and teach the AI and the AI will take it up from there. So as you saw, these are some incredible use cases and demo of Warmwind. And now you can go ahead and integrate the same into your business or let's say workflow and let the AI do everything, okay? Even while you sleep, let the AI keep doing things in the cloud 24 seven. And now Warmwind has officially launched and you can now go ahead and sign up for a new account by clicking the first link in the description below. And finally, the team behind Warmwind has went ahead and put out an incredible launch trailer video where they explain more about Warmwind, a variety of different use cases, hands-on demo, how it works and more. And if you want to watch that, I'll make sure to leave a link to that in the description below and also to a couple of the social profile links of the team so you can go check them out. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in this video and I hope you guys found this video useful. If yes, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.